I'm Matt Brevard. I'm the Vice President of Preclinical Imaging for the Americas for Brooker. Um, we're talking about our line of micro CT scanners, uh, the SkyScan product line produced by Brooker Micro CT, uh, formerly the SkyScan company. We make a range of ex vivo sample scanners, which can image down to the submicron level, and uh, several in vivo scanners for mice and rats, and even all the way up to the extremities of rabbits, down to resolutions down to nine microns. Um, these micro CT instruments are very powerful for a number of applications. Uh, very popular and widely used for bone research, able to do, do bone mineral density calculations and trabecular analysis of bone growth or bone tumors or bone, bone uh, abnormalities. Uh, also very good at looking at implants and things that uh, are, are implanted in a bone and how those might progress over time. Uh, different screw materials, different uh, geometries of things that are going to be implanted in a bone and we're able to analyze the growth of those over time. So the micro CT product line serves a large number of uh, different application groups and industries. Uh, first and foremost is bone mineral research uh, and orthopedic research looking at both soft tissue around bone and hard tissue calcified tissue in bone. Um, another major industry area for micro CT would be for lung pulmonary and thoracic research looking at lung patency and, uh, and, and lung viability over time. Uh, another major industry for uh, micro CT products is going to be the cardiac and cardiovascular research area, again with the use of, of contrast agents to look at both vasculature and the many chambers of the heart uh, in, a, in a gated manner, in a dynamic manner. Um, another industry of, served by the micro CT product lines are uh, medical implants, devices, um, different materials, uh, both for how they're um, uh, taken up by the, by the biological tissue around them in vivo and uh, how they're structurally hold up over time both as part of a biological system and inherently on their own. Another big industry for micro CT is uh, phenotyping of uh, different animal models. So you have the ability with micro CT to image at very high resolutions ex vivo down to under a, a submicron level. And what this allows you to do is if you can stain tissue you can look at subtle histological changes without having to physically slice the animal. So the mouse phenotyping and mouse model phenotyping world is uh, vastly accelerated with the ability to do digital CT imaging of these different models. Thank you for taking the time today to learn about our micro CT instruments for both in vivo and ex vivo imaging, part of the broader Brooker product line of imaging instruments for preclinical research. Uh, for more information, you can visit www.brooker.com and uh, learn more about everything we do and the applications for our instruments.